I'm Jan Ozer. Matrox's new Monarch HD is a portable live encoder that can send a stream to your streaming server and also record a master quality copy to a network drive or local USB or SD storage. The Monarch HD costs less than $1,000 and is available from this video sponsor, VideoGuys.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Monarch HD to stream a live event and record a master quality copy. The hardware itself is portable and compact and has no moving parts, so it's quiet and you can use it pretty much anywhere. On the back, you've got connections for power and network. The unit inputs audio and video via HDMI with an HDMI output for monitoring. If you need 3G, HDSDI, or SDSDI input, you can pair the Monarch with the Matrox MC100, which is available as an affordable bundle. Finishing up on the back of the Monarch, you can also input analog audio via this 1 8 inch connector and monitor audio via this headphone jack. On the front, you've got status lights, buttons for starting streaming and recording, and two USB ports and an SD card slot for local storage. To configure the unit, you log into the Linux-based device from a local browser. These four tabs control setup and operation. Let's start in the Settings tab. As you can see, you have settings for Stream, Record, and Audio. In the Stream and Record Settings windows, you can set the operating mode to Stream Only, Record Only, or Stream and Record. In the Stream Settings window, you set parameters for the live stream. You configure the stream in the encoding section with canned presets providing a starting point. From there, you can customize your settings and save them as profiles for easy use and reuse. In the streaming section, you insert the parameters for your live streaming server. Once you save these parameters, they're stored in the Monarch, so you can drive the system via the buttons on the front of the unit. In the record settings window, you choose the parameters for your master quality copy. Again, Presets speed your selection, and you can save your customizations as new profiles. In the Recording section, you choose the container format, MOV or MP4, and the target for the master quality file, which can be local storage or a network location. You can even send the file to an editor's workstation, so they can start editing the video once the event is complete. In the Audio Settings window, you choose your audio source and sample rate. The Device tab gives you access to this basic information, while the Status window provides a quick look at your overall configuration. When you're ready to go, click Control, and you can start streaming, recording, or both via these buttons. If you have more than one Monarch installed, you can control them all from this interface. If you're using the Monarch in the field without access to the interface, you can use the buttons and status lights to control operation. The blue button tells you that you're ready to stream. Click the button, and the light starts blinking to let you know that you're streaming. For recording, the red light does the same, lighting up when the media is ready and blinking while you're recording. If any problems arise, this yellow indicator lights up to let you know. So that's it. Matrox's Monarch HD is portable, silent, and is the only hardware encoder that can encode a live stream and a master quality copy. For many live event producers, that combination will be tough to beat. For more information about the Matrox Monarch HD, contact this video sponsor, VideoGuys.com, at 1-800-323-2325. I'm Jan Ezer. Thanks for watching. VideoGuys.com is your source for streaming media and live production equipment, storage, and video editing hardware and software. We have specialized in video editing and production for more than 25 years, and our technicians are available to answer your questions and help you find the best solution for your needs and budget.